take a guess at team five of six? Houston. Dude, stop. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> um, in Houston, I've got Tally Hall as my goalkeeper. I have Pat on stead. All right. Let's let's figure out why. Okay. That's a good question. So Tally Hall was a personal choice for me because I watched him play. Um, like he was one of the first goalkeepers I watched when I was like growing up, learning how to be a uh, a goalkeeper. So I, I took a little bit of my game from him. You can easily convince me that he's probably not supposed to be there. Pat was with Houston from 06 to 2010, in which case they won two cups. And Pat, Pat, Onstead is Pat Onstead, like the most decorated goalkeeper of all time. I was literally just thinking the same thing. This, dude this man doesn't lose so much. Open Cup, with, he was on the, the Rhinos team that won the Open Cup, too. He's he won the Gold Cup in 2000. Yeah. Three time MLS Cup. Once a, is Pat Onstead the best goalkeeper of all time? What, what are we really, missing? He really here? might be. He really might be. God damn. I wish I watched this guy play. He is Canadian, though. That doesn't matter. Does it? I don't have anything against Canadians. All right. I will, I will take Onstead there. This man. Unreal. What did Tally Hall do? I don't know. <laughs> when did he play? Uh, he was later on. He was like, if I remember correctly, he was like 2010 to 12, maybe. 2009 to 2014, yeah. Then he went to Orlando for two years, went to D.C. and then left. Okay, so he was there, I guess, when they were coming up against the Galaxy. Yeah. In 11, 12. Yeah, so he made, he made finals, just... Never won. Yeah, well, can you blame him? Yeah. <laughs> Loser. Um, no, I'm going to cool. not beat David Beckham. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Um, what do you got to write back? I think I cheated on this one, to be honest with you. Why'd you cheat? Because I don't know if he actually played right back for them. Okay. But I couldn't not have him on my team. Okay. I put Jeff Cameron there. What? Why? I don't know. I will I will go ahead and drop a center mid to put him in there, but I won't put him at right back. Let me see if he actually even played right back for them. Who'd you have at right back? I had Mullen. He had lots of goal country. He played right back in his career, but did he play there for? I know. That's what I'm trying to think. No, he didn't. I'm not going to put him there then. He played yeah, right I mid did. at one point. You mentioned Jeff Cameron at right mid. Yes. Hook it to my veins. All right. I'm fine with that. Okay. So I put Mullen in there. He had about 20 something maybe close to 30 goal contributions for Houston oh, 26 assists sorry he had 37 goal contributions from uh 05 to 2010 he also has five MLS cups what Jeez. two he has two he was on there for the two with Houston uh so he, he went back to back um he was on the Colorado Rapids team, the San Jose team, and one of the LA teams. This guy, too. From Mineola. Long Island boy. Oh, nice. Automatically in. Yeah. All right. Agreed. Center backs. I have Boswell and Robinson. I had Boswell and um, Jermaine Taylor. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Time to look it up again. Eddie's picture looks old. Makes me think that he was there in the early days. He's gives me a good feeling about this guy. He's old. He's got to be good. 
No, I don't think he's old. He's only 42. He was there from 06 to 2011. So that means he was on both he's teams. He's a two time MLS Cup. He was also a MLS All Star, Dynamo Defensive Player of the Year in 06 and 07. Eddie Robinson, and, it is. Can't argue with that. Yeah, I mean, defensive, your defensive player of the year in the two years you won the Cups. Yeah. It's got to be in there. Yeah. Um, left back, there's only one answer. Marcus Beasley. Tricky Bees. In the Corey Ash, Corey Ash has a shout, but Tricky Bees yeah. gets, gets a nod. Yeah, I was going to say, when you said there was only one answer, I agree that it's Beasley, but I don't think that Corey Ash should just be completely overlooked. I'm putting Corey Ash on the bench. What up, Corey? Oh, he definitely makes the bench. Yeah. All right, so defensive midfield. This is fun. I put I put a few center mids. I don't have a true CDM, I guess you could say. I don't My, think I do either. Yeah, I put Ricardo Clark, Boni Garcia, and I have Dayro at Cam. Nice, me too. Okay. But we have do we want to fit do we want to try and fit Jeff Cameron in? Uh, I don't think he I don't think he knocks any of those guys out. I mean talent wise. Did you watch him play at all? Jeff Is Cameron? He, yeah, when he was at Houston. No. When was he at Houston? No, I didn't watch Houston that closely. When, I, when At that point, I was only watching Red Bull. I wasn't really into the whole league. You with Houston. He was there 08 to 2012. Yeah, 08 to 12. So he's got no cups. He's got nothing. He, yeah, he's he's just a fun FCC player who also played for Stoke. He's like Jason's favorite player. <laughs> okay, I'm fine with that. If If... Houston fans want to find some place for him in this team, then I'm open to switching him, but I'm fine with keeping with Garcia and Clark. Cool. Left mid, Brad Davis. Right mid, Albert Elise. Striker, yep. Brian Ching. Perfect. Good. There's no real arguments there. Um, anybody you put on the bench, you think? I had to look again. Oh, uh, Mara Minotas. I think Minotas gets in. Does Matthias Vera maybe get in? Yeah, maybe. Will Bruin. Will Bruin probably gets a shout. So Vera, Minotas, Bruin. Tomas Martinez yeah. probably gets a shout. Yeah. Maybe it. Maybe Kyoto. Maybe Kyoto. Did you put Jeff Cameron on the bench? Uh, I can. I think he should be on there. All right, so Cameron and Kyoto, and that'll be our bench full.